Hello everyone, today I'm here for Jaded Blossom and it's the June release blog hop today. Here is the Gnome Dyes Police add-on that I used for my card. The Gnome Land Security stamp set with the coordinating dies. Super fun. Hope you can join us on our hop. And a hand cuff stencil. And this is a freebie, but you have to spend at least $50 before tax. And you have June 14th, 15th to get it. And while well, supplies last. So there is the postage dies that I also used. And the rectangles dies too. And the big one fits perfectly with the big one on that one. So here's the paper I used. And stitch oval dies and transfer gel i'm gonna put some on top so i do have a video i did a video for tuesday and that was day one and today is the hop so um if you didn't check it out you can go check it out i am did some stenciling there too and i did some foiling just like this one so there, I'm just going to peel that off and be really gentle so you're not sliding it sideways or anything. And then I'll set that aside. I left it for about two hours and you have to have the pretty side up with the foil. And I'm just going to sandwich that in my pocket and put it through. And here's my foil that I used, my mink. Wait till I, the light goes green and I kind of speed it up a little bit. I love my mink. I have the big one. And just letting it go through. I will go back the other way. You probably don't have to. I just like to be play safe and go twice around. So I'm just letting it go through and I'll put that one aside and we'll go to the next one. So I uh, here is their hickory smoke and I'm just going to do the whole background with that. So one's going to be foil and one's just going to be um, distressed oxide. I find that when you do the foiling, it's a little easier. You put the paste down really quick, peel it off, <laughs> and then just put your foil on top, pass it in your machine. It's easy, easy peasy. So I did peel that uh, foil right away. It's just that I had that background because I was, you have to stop and do something else, stop and do something else when you're doing the foil. So just because I had this one all done, we'll just show it at the end. You'll see. So there, I'm almost done. And if you're gonna reuse your tape, just make sure you uh, clean it off as I did and peel that and look. Pretty, love it. So there, as I said, I did that before I finished that one, but and that's why I'm shaking it because it was hot when I <laughs> when I did it. If it was sitting that long, I wouldn't be doing that. So there, look how fancy, looks really pretty. I found that for pictures, for samples, they looked a little too much the same. Just one's shiny, one's not. So what I did was I taped back my uh, one that just had um, ink and I'm putting some black soot around and I'm just framing it. And that's the one that I'll be using for my card for today. So I hope you liked all our sneaky peeks for this week. For this awesome release over at Jaded Blossom. 
And like I said, join us for our hop and see some more creation from all the design team. I will have a link to my blog with this video. So this is the June release. So if you're looking at this a couple months from now, <laughs> it'll be available then if they're not sold out because it's a pretty fun release as always. So I'm going to peel that and then you'll see how it looks with the frame around. And there, now they stand out a little bit more and look at how the nice shiny foil. Four and three eighths by five and five eighths is my card base, but I'm going to do it this way and put a little bit of my sample background here. What was left of it. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to have to cut both sides. Just want to keep that black framing because if you did put it all on one side, then you're going to have one side that has more of the soot color, right? So there, put a little bit of glue, keep it shut and put my first layer. Glue it down. So you have a nice white frame all around. And there is my sample. And I do have to add a little bit of black soot around wherever it has none because I cut it. There you go. That looks pretty good. Don't be afraid of putting patterns on top of patterns. If you have some colors that coordinates really nicely, it'll work. It's fun. So I have this pattern, as you'll see, and then my long font pattern I'm gonna be on top again. But see how it, it's nice with that other blue, so it works. I'm gonna pop that. And I center it the best I can here. And when I go to put my sentiment, you'll see I'll have to bring it down just a bit, a bit, because my little um, police guy is in the way. Yes, in the way. So I'm just gonna build you a very quick little Nomi here. I did forget to add that I used the base of the gnome so the actual gnome die so for the the little boots also those are from the um actual first little gnome we had where it started all <laughs> so there i'm just gonna pop my little hat so making a little cop is super easy just have to trim down that uh, gnome hat because it's it is a little long and you, it will stick out so I'm just putting the badge on there and a couple little pieces on my hat so I just cut those a little darker blue so it stands out And at the end, I will show you the other cards that I made for this week. Just in case you didn't see them. And there I'm going to put my little mustache. I didn't do no shading on my beard or on my skin color pieces. I just kept it simple. So there's my little nose. And I do glue him down with some pop dots. And like I said, after it's all done, I will realize that I don't have no room for my sentiment. And there, put the big badge. I do put two layers of pop dots on 
that badge and then another layer of pop dots for the hands. I like to, that to be the showcase. So here's my sentiment and I'm kind of looking, it's like, ooh, I don't like it on top of the hat. So I decide to take my little cop off. I should have just kept it on that oval and just brought the whole thing down because I'll be bringing that piece down also shortly here. Just looking. You are an officer like no other. So there, I'm going to peel that, bring it down slightly here. And there, put my little cop back on. Now it works much better. Cute. All right. So I bring some little stars here from this set also. And I'm going to pop those up. And do that to all of them. I do put that one and then I move it on top of the hat. Like so. There it is. All done. There you go. We'll show you again all the materials that I use for today's card. And some of the new products there. So... Go check it out. They're all available for purchase today. And they're all my goodies. Here's my sample with the foil and my card. I hope you'll like it. And like I said, I will show you all the other cards that I did for this release. So that was Tuesday's card for day one. I went to day three with the bike and this one was day two with the sample I had made on last video. So hope you'll like all my sneaky peeks and I'll see you soon. Bye.